Hi, my name is Juna. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Breathonics. Hi, I'm Du Fang. I'm the co-founder and COO of Breathonics. At Breathonics, we are working on this device so that in the future, the patients just need to blow into the device and we can tell whether they have lung cancer or not. How it works is that human breast has a, a lot of small molecules that can be used as disease biomarkers. And in our pilot trial with National University Hospital, we were able to successfully detect 80 patients with 80% accuracy. And among them, we also had five early stage patients. So this device can standardize the breath collection process and eliminate the artifacts and contaminants. So the user simply need to blow from this mouthpiece and his breath will be collected and be fed into a mass spectrometer for measurement. And then our software will analyze the data and give the clinical results in just a few minutes. I'm Professor Venki Venkatesan. I'm the director of the Nano Institute at National University of Singapore. Just imagine uh, the, the human body, uh, you know, has so many diseases potential, but at the same time, the human cells' behavior changes with diseases, and therefore, the molecules they produce uh, eventually comes into the breath. And thereby measuring the breath, we can get an idea of what are the potential diseases we may be carrying. So you get a diagnosis for not one disease, but 100 diseases in one shot. And all of this happens in a few minutes, basically. And that is the future that we're looking at. And that's what we're excited about. My name is Wei Jiang. Hi, my name is Seng Han. And we are both co-founders of Craft Health. So basically what we do at Craft Health is that we're looking to personalize uh, medicines, supplements, or nutraceuticals using 3D printing. And how we do that is that we are able to have different medicines or supplements combined together in a layer by layer approach using 3D printing. And we can take into account variations such as the number before after food dosing or even the number of times taken in one day. Actually, we are both practicing pharmacists in uh, SGH previously. So we knew each other since uh, uni university days. Uh. So during our days in the pharmacy, we actually do see that on a daily basis, a lot of patients, especially the elderly, they go home with bags and bags of medications. Often they complain that sometimes there's just too many or they even forget or take their medications wrongly. As we move on from a pharmacist's career and then proceed on to do our uh, postgraduate studies, with myself actually focusing on 3D printing for personalized medicine, then uh, Wei Jiang actually did a PhD in drug delivery. At the same time, also an MBA. We thought that why not to actually uh, uh, use our, both of our expertise to actually try to tackle this issue of polypharmacy or just having too many medications. Imagining combining 10 medications into just one or two simple pills itself. I'm Grace. And I'm Inwei. Um, we are the co-founders of BX Autonomous Systems. BX builds autonomous maritime vehicles to disrupt how underwater inspections and interventions are being carried out today. Currently, underwater inspections are carried out by remotely operated vehicles or divers connected by a cable to a large and expensive vessel. Our autonomous vehicles are untethered, which means that we have onboard perception and navigation sensors to do the inspection automatically. So this uh, allows users to re dramatically reduce the cost of inspections and also the time taken to do their work. Seven years ago, Singapore was trying to groom more engineers that have domain knowledge in underwater systems. So we participated in a competition for marine robotics and then we went on to represent Singapore in a US defence competition and that's how we continue evol evolving the technology on marine autonomy. So many of the users are people from oil and gas and also the uh, maritime uh, industry. What they're trying to do is really to be able to eliminate the, having to send such uh, expensive vessels offshore and also the kinds of support systems that will come along with such a, a tethered vehicle.